Ooh, this is actually a pretty crazy looking map. Ex excuse me. Well, Rihanna just died. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Falcon Convoy. We are here heading over to the compression coil area, which is going to get us our last bit of our main objective, I should say. And then we'll be able to probably initiate the boss fight, which is um, something I'm really excited to actually do, because I haven't done that before. And last time when we tried to do that, I guess it wasn't in that build just yet, but now it's supposed to be in it, so I'm really looking forward to that for sure. The compression coil, thankfully, there is a road over here, which kind of should cut our travel time a little bit. Although we're going to have to kind of go off-road over here too, which is, isn't too bad of a deal. It does slow you down a little bit, but that's besides the point. You arrive at the Torvac Corporation Compression Coil Facility. Yeah, this is the place, all right, Barry claims. Let's attempt to radio the facility. Last time when we did this, we actually just fought Torvac completely. This time around, I kind of want to see if you could kind of give Barry up to them and see if um, it initiates a different type of way to finish this event off. We are the Torvac Corporation. We do not welcome visitors here. We suggest you leave. Tell them you want to buy the compression coil. Tell them you have their former employee here. Talk to Barry. Attack the facility. Let's tell them that we have their former employee here. We do not care. We suggest you leave now or we will be forced to use force. Probability of your survival? 0%. Let's talk to Barry. Damn bastards. He's the plan. If you head out to attack them now as a distraction, I'll sneak behind the facility whilst they are distracted and sabotage their production line, causing the whole thing to go up in flames. That should make the fight considerably easier. Um... Sure. Okay. It should make the fight easier, he says. I really doubt that's the case, but whatever you say, Barry. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I tried to give this motherfucker up, but unfortunately, Torvac didn't give a shit about it, so... You know, I tried. I tried to take the scummy route out of here. Let me shoot this missile over here, hopefully. Nope. It's gonna miss one of the guys, anyway. Alright, you move up over here, and then you move downward. Let's actually keep shooting at this guy. Our railgun is over here. Maybe we could shoot this guy over here at the back. Get him out of the way completely. Oh, he's just about boned. <laughs> He's boned completely now. Alright, let's shoot a mine if we can, too. Can we shoot a mine? Oh, we can't. Can't shoot the mine. Although, wait a minute, here we go. Mine over matter. Let's shoot it this way. Oh, Rihanna's gonna kill him. Never mind. Too late. Brianna was just too much for this guy. Let me move you down over here, my man. So we can just kind of circle around this motherfucker. Just kind of encase him completely. What are you gonna do at this point? Look at this guy. Where do I go? Completely surrounded, guys. Help. You know what, Torvang? You made your bed. I offered you Barry. You guys said fuck me, so I said fuck you in return. And who's fucking who right now? Why is there so much fucking going on? I'm not entirely sure. This is like a post-apocalyptic wasteland orgy or some kind. So you find 36 fuel, 91 scrap. Barry heads into the remains of the facility to look for a functioning compression coil. Barry appears a while later and tells you he is unable to find a functioning compression coil. He has retrieved the parts to build one, however. Fuck you, Barry. <laughs> Why do you gotta complicate this more? I'm not gonna drop you off again, motherfucker? Am I a cab service? Oh, look at this shit. From behind some dunes, a pack of Torvac Corporation vehicles approach your convoy ready to attack. Let me see what happens if you try to intimidate them to back off. We have overestimated our chances. We will leave you be. <laughs> Good, keep going. It worked. Alrighty. Um, here's what I want to do. Ooh, we just need to equip this too, right? Pylon facility, where are you at? Uh, yeah, let's do the pylon facility now, because either way, we still have to draw fucking Barry off, because apparently we run a a side mission... Oh, wait a minute. Camp. Apparently we run like a little bit of a taxi type of scenario here, where you have to drop Barry off and take him places over and over. It's like driving Miss Daisy instead of just driving Mr. Barry or some shit. Um, let me go into the shop itself, see if there's anything of value here for us. Um, there is another vehicle for sale. The Fat Cat B2. Hmm. Now, here is what I'm wondering. I thought we had an extra ship from... Or another... Why do I keep calling them ships? I thought we had a different and an extra unit. But... It doesn't show up here unless it's only at the... Hmm, I wonder if it's only at the actual Mercury cam that you could actually change your party around. It would make sense though, right? I mean, why would there just be a random party member at a random camp in the world as opposed to just in the ship where you kind of go to all the time? Interesting. Okay, I might consider that really quickly. Although, since we have an excess amount of money, let me just buy this for the hell of it. Okay. No, so... Hmm. Oh, well, I'm confused now, for sure. We already have one of you guys, though. I mean, we have this guy who's already kind of loaded up, so... 
let me just cancel this out. Did we just spend the money for no reason? Probably. Wait, is our money still there? Oh, our money's still there, so you can definitely cancel it out. Oh, sweet. Alrighty, well. <laughs> I mean, I bought them out of an experiment alone, but thankfully it did work out for us. This is a light pulse laser. This is the light pulse laser itself. Hmm. Let me buy one of these just for experimentation purposes, and we will go into you over here. Now we have a medium one. Very effective against health. Does nothing against armor, though. And then we have this one, but the smaller version of that one. I wonder if, you know, minigun? Let me remove this one and use the medium one just for the hell of it. Switch it up a little bit if we can. And then you, my friend over here, you have two of the same, right? Let's switch it up too. Let's give you the light one. Just for the sake of variety at this point. Rihanna, do you have any more options here? You have the heavy rocket artillery, which is actually pretty good for her. She does a lot of damage when those hit. It takes a while for her to shoot, but when they land, dude, let me tell you. This is the medium rocket artillery, which is the same one. Yeah, so let's have you just hold on to the medium and the large one, and then... <laughs> and the large one, he says, without trying to laugh, but unfortunately failing in the process. You have the cannon. Yeah, let's have you hold on to that one, too. Alright, so let's actually just level these guys up. Might as well. Health. Armor. Handling. Let's do that one right now. Fuck the mine guard. We'll do that one after it last. I'd rather get the other upgrades first. So boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Especially if we're going to deal with this final boss, which I've heard pretty crazy things about. I'd rather be completely souped up over here. How about you, my friend? Health. That and that. Confirm. Return. It's going to be all of our money, but that's okay. I'm quite alright with this. Handling. And handling. And now our combo is going to get the last 48 that we do have here. Which is going to be to health or armor, health or armor. Let's go with health. Alrighty. Confirm. Clear it out. Alrighty, so we've... Haven't necessarily maxed everything out, but we're kind of really close to it. And if we wanted to, we could also sell that extra item. But that's going to hold up here for a while. We're going to also repair. Anybody need any repairs? See, well... If we did, it's too bad because we don't have the money for that anymore. Unless we sell something, but I'm too lazy to do that. So, we'll just hold off. We'll probably get into another random fight anyway and get some more scrap. So, I'm not really too worried about that or ordeal right there. Alrighty, pylon facility. Let's continue going over here. Oh, point of interest. Good. Let me get another side mission over here. Vehicles come streaming down to surrounding dunes. Guns that look remarkably like modified ancient cannons blazing. Um... Let's just supercharge the engines and escape. I want to get to our area over here. This is going to be just another random fight. Oh, that wasn't the actual point of interest. Gotcha. The signal appears to be coming from a privateer camp in the distance. It seems as if there's a lot of activity in the camp. But you don't think they've noticed your convoy yet. Um... Let's ambush them if we can. After finding a good position, you wait for the privateers to come along. Eventually, the majority of their forces come along and are easily destroyed by your surprise attack. 99 scrap and 9 fuel. You know, I got 99 scrap, but uh... Feel ain't one? I don't know, wait. Had nothing better for that one. I didn't want to go with the typical boy a bitch ain't one because number one, I find that really offensive towards women. I'm just throwing it out there right now. <laughs> I know that sounds like I'm being really facetious, but I'm really not. I'm just throwing it out there, you know? It's gotta be a little bit more sensitive, guys, you know? Just throwing it out there. Although, it's kind of my fault, really, for... I mean, what does a bitch have to be... Talking, what does the song have to be talking about a female? Maybe he's talking about his gun. Is it a rap song? I got 99 different problems, but a bitch ain't one. If it's a rap song, he could be talking about his gun, honestly, but whatever. Am I just populating rap culture to guns and violence? Yeah, not really, but... Let's not put words in my mouth now. <laughs> I want to get off the subject now, if you don't mind. The signal appears to be coming from a lone privateer vehicle. It seems to have noticed your convoy, starts his engine, and attempts to race off. Um, we never done this one before, have we? Let's chase it. After catching up to the privateer, a few well-placed shots easily dispatched it. 34 fuel, 84 scrap. Oh man, we're just coming into money so easily at this point. So pylon facility is kind of like dead dick in the middle of nowhere. Look at this shit, man. Ah, oh, you guys are making me travel far for this. They... Alright, you arrive at the pylon construction facility. It is teeming with Torvac Corporation vehicles. They look too numerous to fight. Let's hail the facility. We have anticipated your arrival. We will give you the coordinates that the pylon must be delivered to. We will reward you upon delivery. A light vehicle approaches your convoy and delivers the pylon. After having left the facility, an engineer remarks that you could take apart the pylon rather than delivering it. It would be worth a sizable amount of parts. 
Here's the thing. Last time when I did this, we got a lot of money for it. However, just in the sake of um, experimenting with new events, I'm going to actually decline and deliver the thing. What do I have delivered? 259 that way, which is fine because that's where we're headed anyway. Several vehicles approach your convoy. Let's just supercharge and escape that one. I don't want to do much of the random fights at this point. I just want to do more of the actual events that have like some sort of like story significance to it. Just because a lot of these could have the option of opening up more stuff for us down the line, which I'm really excited to see. I could go back over here and upgrade my vehicles a bit more, but I'll just hold on to it for now. <clears throat> so we have some random drone event. We have a point of interest. This, this is what I want to get involved with. The point of interest, I'm cool with it. I want to see what the story and the side quests have to really show us. You drive past the Torvac Corporation checkpoint, they attempt to radio you. Um, we've never picked this one before, have we? So let's do that one. Just a straight up fight? Okay. Well. And now we know. And if you don't know, then now you know. That's as far as that song is gonna get, by the way, because... Otherwise, it'd be really offensive, especially for, you know, a Caucasian male to say that word. <laughs> let's just be honest here. You don't say that word if you're a Caucasian male. I mean, if you do, you... You probably do it in the comfort of your own home when nobody can see you. Not that I'm, you know, advocating that word, obviously. I'm really not. And, you know, if you... For instance, you know, I, I have a few African-American friends, too. And they call me that word all the time. And I don't get offended by it. You know, I just figure that's what they want to call me. And that's cool. I mean, I don't take offense to it. At least I, I don't think they mean that much ill will by it. I'm pretty sure at this point, now it's just kind of like... It's kind of like saying bro or like dog or something like that, you know? I don't think there's any necessarily, like, you know, ill will behind that word now. You know, hip-hop culture's taught me that anyway. I see it all the time, they, they say it all the time. What do you mean they say it all the time, Falcon? <laughs> By they, I mean, you know, people. Just people in general, they say it all the time. They don't really mean any ill will against it. But that's besides the point. Amidst the wreckage of the Torah region checkpoint, you find a mysterious cargo crate named Millspec ED-209. I'm sorry, I'm just saying. <laughs> These fucking... These little, like, um, tangents that we go on sometimes just kind of, like, put me in really murky waters, you know? I don't like going there, but it just seems to happen. I just put my foot in my mouth and, you know, it happens. Again, just want to reaffirm everybody, nothing I say is to be taken serious. I just joke around about shit like this. Definitely have an open mind when you listen to my commentary. I'm just fucking around for the most part. For all the part, I should say. It appears to be some sort of humanoid robot. Alright, we did this last time earlier in this run. It didn't go too well when we tried to activate it. So... Should we just sell it in the black market this time? No, you know what? I'm really... I really want to see if we could kind of salvage this robot. So I'm going to have a look at it again. Hopefully this time it goes different. Cross my fingers. He's going to use physical force. Fuck. I tend to shoot it down or just... Or I tend to shut it down or just shoot it. Again, let's try to... I tend to shut it down. It's not showing any signs of stopping, uh, just fucking blast it then. You open fire on the robot, your weapon blasted to smithereens. Damn Torvac junk. Alrighty. I, I really have high hopes for that one, though. I really want it to be some sort of, like, weird unlockable that we could kind of, um, get. But it hasn't really panned out for us this time. But again, it's just RNG, RNG's is doing its thing. Remember with the, if you guys remember with the, the Thunderdome, or the Fighting Dome, every single time we had won before, but then suddenly we didn't win, so, you know, it's... Just a matter of luck. I don't want to do this random event if you don't mind, so let me just escape that one. We'll go over here and do the pylon facility. You approach the Torvac Corporation checkpoint. Let's hail them. We have anticipated your arrival. We thank you for the services. What about my reward, dog? We have no intention of rewarding you. We suggest you leave. Fuck you. That's what I think about that. Motherfuckers, I should have just taken that thing apart, but no! Hey guys, I have an idea. Let's find out what happens if you try to take it back for once and, you know, maybe we'll get rewarded pretty well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nope. Bad idea, dog. <laughs> That's what I get for playing by the rules. Did I just shoot my vehicle? No, that's not my vehicle. I, I shot the right one. But this guy has a crazy laser, which is kind of really hurting my convoy. So let's send the railgun at him. And if we can, maybe even set up a mine. Oh, here we go. Mine right here. You come over here, Rihanna, and block him from moving away from that mine. Ha <laughs> ha Good job! I like it when I do some good moves like that. It just, you know, makes me feel pretty good about myself. Which is kind of like, you know, why does that make you feel good about yourself? I mean, you have nothing better going on for yourself? As a matter of fact, I don't. If you wanted to know. 
All right, thanks for bringing harsh reality to my world again. It's the reason why I play video games, to escape that harsh reality of, you know, just being a very lonely man playing video games in his room in his underwear all day. <laughs> that doesn't really happen. But if you guys do that, or instance, like, I'm not, you know, taking a knock at you, go ahead. If you could just hang out in your room and play video games all day, then more fucking power to you, man. I'm just going to throw it out there right now. <laughs> You're living the dream, dog. You're definitely living the dream. You know what's actually living a dream too? Being able to let this mine loose at some point, maybe on top of this motherfucker? Yeah. Put the mine on top of him. There you go, piece of shit. But your crazy shield that never goes down. Oh, finally it went down. Well, 2 8 for that. I'm pretty sure the shield would go down when the fucking whole thing itself goes down, so there you go. Have at you what you want with that one. We do have another missile over here. Might as well just launch it. End this fight already. These guys have some pretty amazing shields. I'm going to tell you that much right now. I'm actually kind of surprised by how much damage these guys soaked up right now, and actually did a, a certain amount of damage to our convoy, too. We have 108, 108 scrap for our trebles, doing 41 fuels, so man, it's pretty good. Amidst the wreckage you find, you manage to find a still functioning weapon. It turns out to be a medium railgun. Alrighty, so we got another weapon, too, for that. Is it probably worth it as it would be just by taking the pile apart or selling it to the black market? Probably not. But, you know, you live and learn. So our coil's gonna be done right here, meaning our main objective is basically once again completed. I'm excited for that. Because hopefully we can fight the final boss now, and I'm really looking forward to that one. So Barry goes over here, he fixes it, we have the thing now, and it's time to head back to Spaceship Mercury, which is down this way. Alrighty, so here is the um, precipice of our journey right here, which is gonna be... Are we gonna finally initiate this boss fight, and I'm excited for it, I'm not sure what to expect from it. We're gonna just um, supercharge the engines if you don't mind, just because I want to get to there as soon as possible. I'm really excited to find out what that's all about. I'd rather probably get on a road here so we could travel a bit faster too, Falcon. Just maybe. Get on the fucking road, dog. <laughs> what is this? The backwoods of some area? Um, there is... Oh, shit! That might be the boss fight right here. Last time we did that, the game just kind of crashed on me for some reason. Before we do that... Nearest camp. Ah, oh, fuck. Alrighty, you motherfucker. No, oh, look, we have a random event now. I want to go and heal up before we actually take that on because I want to be like in full health. Obviously, that would make sense. Oh, dude, our convoy is going to eat up all this damage over here. That's no good whatsoever. There's also another hazard coming my way. I'm not too happy about that. You move forward if you don't mind. Same with you. You get back over here. Now, let's see if I can send my missile on top of these two individuals right here. Definitely can. Perfect. Railgun. Let's go after this guy over here. And you just missed it completely. That's no good. Let me send my mine on top of this guy, though, because I can do that. <laughs> Rules don't apply to me. What is fucking gravity? Nothing. It's just a figment of my imagination, or just a figment of your imagination, because in my world, gravity, fuck that shit, dog. It doesn't really work. Alrighty, let's move over here. This guy should be fucked really soon. Not really too worried about that. Uh, let's have you move out of the way, if you don't mind. Hey, yeah, you still took damage. Alright, well... It is what it is. More scraps for our trouble. Which is fine, because I just want to go heal up right now. And then take on this, um... Bloody red enemy. And by bloody, I'm just trying to use, like, a British terminology here. This bloody red enemy. But in reality, he's red, so it kind of really works out, too. You never know what I should, which way I was going with that one, right? Was he talking bloody as in, like, the whole British thing he just told us? Or was he talking about the color in general? Well, I guess that would have worked better had I not told you I was doing the whole British thing, but... That's besides the point. So, heal up completely. Heal up completely. Alrighty, good. And now, what we do is we also are going to hopefully not do that. I was going to actually just try to level up my guys completely, just max them out, and then go do the fight. So, over here's where I want to be. You are completely upgraded now. Confirm. Great. So, we're completely maxed on the convoy itself. Now, let's go to my units here. <laughs> units. Oh, my little penis joke all the time. Alrighty, so max that out, max this out. Firm. Return. 206. We should have enough to max everything out, I'm pretty sure. I should probably be, like, using less on the mine guards, but whatever. Oh, we're fine. Definitely. There you go. Everything maxed out. Pretty goddamn well. And let's just go do it, man. Let's break up the camp. Let's go fight. So back out over here. Let's take the road over here. Hopefully we don't get into any events on the way, because I just want... Oh, come on. 
Uh, he wants to uh, scan my convoy. Go right ahead, dog. We have determined that you are a potential threat to the Torah recovery. Ah, come on. Why are you delaying the inevitable? I just want to go over there and fight a boss, dog. And Oh, this is actually a pretty crazy looking map. Ex excuse me. Well, Rihanna just died. Rihanna just died. Well, <laughs> that certainly throws a, a wrench into the equation now, doesn't it? Instead of the uh, fight I was hoping to have here, I just, apparently, Brianna decided to commit suicide, and there you go. Alrighty, Spaceship Mercury onward, right? Fuck me. Alrighty, I have a feeling that that's not supposed to happen in a regular version. So here's what we do, we call an episode here. Hopefully the boss fight next episode, we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and, um, you know, rest in peace, Rihanna. I'll catch you guys next time.